Dan Perry here for Dan on Tech with another C and C++ uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, we're still looking at the interface of Visual Studio. And the first thing I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go up and I'm going to make a few changes to the way it looks, mainly for the recording purposes to make things easier for us to see. So I'm going to go to my tools and then come down to options. And when I get my options menu, I have get, get a dialog box. And the first part is my environment. Then we have projects, source control, debugging, a number of things there. I'm going to move down to my uh, fonts and colors. And I'm going to go in and change my font size to uh, from, from the 10 points it is to 20 points and that's going to make things larger. I could go in and make other things and make a, uh, make other changes to it but I'm going to make that one change and notice that uh, when I f uh, finish that now my text is much larger. <clears throat> if you want to work with larger text in yours feel free to if you want to work with smaller. Um, I find that I normally actually, for production, increase the default from 10 to somewhere between 12 and 14 points just because I like that larger look. Now a few other things that we have here to look at is here is my program from last time and what I'm going to do is to save myself a little work. I have some uh, code that I've already created and uh, from that code that uh, I've already created, I'm going to copy and paste it in to work from. So I'm going to go over to it and I'm going to copy it. It's in, in another window uh, in Notepad++. Now, just like in other Windows applications, or if you're familiar, if you do Control A, you select all. If you're working on a Macintosh computer with a different system, it would be Command A but I'll do a control A to select all. Then I'm going to use the shortcut for pasting, control V. You certainly can go up to your edit paste window. You could uh, also use your uh, paste button and you could right click and do a paste as well. I just like to use the shortcuts. Now here's a sample program that I've created and uh, with it several things happen. Uh, that we want to look at are there several things that, that we're going to look at on it. Uh, we have with this program uh, or in this program I have a number of different elements and we're going to talk about those in more detail but notice here this el these elements are in green. We're going to find that those are comments. Here we have some elements in our program in blue then some black elements, red elements this color coding <clears throat> is used by uh, C++, by the Visual Studio, to help tell us things about the program. And if we wanted to change those colors, we don't like those colors, we could go back up into our tools and options, and we can change the colors we want. What we do find is that, or we're going to find, and we'll talk about it more as we go, is green is for comments. Blue is for keywords or reserved words. We'll talk about what those are. Uh, red are for, um, think of them not as variables, for, but for identifiers. In this case, things that are going to be printed in the case of the Hello World or are used with a keyword, and there may be other colors that we're going to see. So as we work, we're going to see different colors are going to be used for different things in our program. Now, once we have our program, all of the editing that you're used to with other Windows or Macintosh programs uh, works. I can move my mouse and click at a point, and my cursor moves there, and if I then type something, it would be placed at that point. I can backspace off. I can come in and highlight a whole word or a phrase by holding my mouse button down and dragging across. Uh, and then if I type something there, it would replace what 
is in there. Now, one of my favorite features with Windows programs, again, and also Mac, is control on the Windows or command on the Macintosh is the undo or control, which is control Z. And each time I do control Z, it undo does something. So if I wanted to undo something that I did, I could do that. Now, I can also come up here and in my menu, there is an undo button right there. So if I wanted to undo, I could click that, but I find that that means I have to take my keys off the keyboard, and I don't like that. Also, at any point when you're working in the window, if you do Control-S, that will save your work. So Control-S is the shortcut for saving. Feel free to use it, and in fact, I encourage you to use it quite often. Now, when we're working later on, and if we run a program, what we may find is we're down in this output window. And if we do a control S or save there, now it's going to bring up a dialog box that says save as. And it shows the type is text files. Well, what it's doing there is it's trying to save what's in this output or the dialog box there. So if you ever get that, just click back up into your programming window do your control S and you can uh, save it there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and stop here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to actually start looking at the elements of the C++ program.